One day that is going to get nailed across there. Oh, just like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a really nice one. Oh, he's fighting good. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We're out on the river early this morning. We're on a bit of an overnight mission so the boat's loaded up. We're going to fish. We got morning session this morning, uh, subsurface during the day and then hopefully a good evening and morning bite. So let's see what happens. Always nice to be able to do a camp out session on the river. It looks beautiful. All right, it's first thing in the morning, so throwing around Hunchback. This is the wood dock, wood dock, wood duck color, which just looks so cool and funky. Um, throwing it on a seven foot TT black mamba stick, 50 pound platypus X4 braid, Komodo 273. And I've gone with an 80 pound leader because you might as well fish heavy they're not, the water's coloured, so the fish don't care. We're just gonna roll through as many snags as we can with the top water while the light is low, and then when the light changes, we might switch to subsurface, but there's quite a few clouds around. Should be a nice long surface session, I reckon. a beautiful log. Great thing about the new hunchbacks is that, like all the other ballistas, they are good to go straight out of the packet. You don't want thick hooks, you want nice, fine, super, super sharp hooks, just like those ones. It's funny with surface on the river, because um, you'd think it'd be like first light till when the sun's up, it would be the real prime time but I've had it like really good fishing when it's like this as well like I think it's 8 30 and like the sun's up but the shadows are still on the water um, and I wonder whether it's because the cod can actually see quite well when the sun's up I know they feed well at night but I've had some really good bites at like nine o'clock in the morning Oh my god! 
Oh, that was a hectic bite. <laughs> what? He absolutely demolished that top water. Whoa, that was so sick. Oh, it's gonna spot lock. What a chunky cod. That is cool as. Check him out. That is an awesome chunky top water cod. So sick. He is yeah, pinned very well. Good to go. He's out of here. Dropped him. No. Ah. Oh. Straight onto it. I set the hook and everything. Oh. He might come back. That was a bad cast. Ah, oh, damn. That was a good bite. Oh. <laughs> Just like twitch, twitch, kadushka. I can't believe it came off. Got that, don't I? I'm around the stick. Oh, gotta get in there. Oh, it's a nice fish. I'm around the stick though. Uh, I saw that when I was winding and I thought, well, <laughs> if it eats it, I'll just have to deal with it then. <laughs> How are you going, dude? Oh, I'm just going to get it around that stick. All right, beautiful. Uh, come here. He's a good fish. Oh, sick. Check him out. Oh, did he crunch that or what? So angry. Come on. Got him. That's a really nice fish. Check that out. What an absolute belter. Got lucky when he came back. <laughs> that is so cool. So stoked. He was not hanging around for a second.
You'd think when they eat it when it's twitched, like it would get the hook really good. And I know sometimes they do, but I reckon it just shows you sometimes they don't actually hit the lure itself or they knock it out of the water. It's not always lure going down the throat. It's a sick bite, right in the foam pole. Ah. Oh, probably hear the pump in the background. <laughs> that was so cool. I just worked through the last couple of foam piles and I knew there had to be one on one of them. Oh, what a fish. That's a really nice fish. It hasn't really done much. I actually thought he was a little bit smaller than that. Oh, that's such a nice one. Oh. Right, dude. So I'm stuck on the log. What a fish. That's a really nice one. Beautiful. Check him out. Got the pump going in the background. He's got a few spots on him, this one. But just a super fun topwater fish. All right, let's get him back. Oh, boy. Little back. Nice. Just never know when a big one's gonna pop out and smash it too. really cool to see how hard they blitz it since the floods like I reckon they're hitting top water harder and it might just be because they're so fit it's not a big sponge pile but it's worth a cast All right, it is 11 o'clock, so I thought I'd rig a spinnerbait on my other rod. And anything that's in the sun that looks really good, I'll fish with the spinnerbait. And then any shady pockets or foam piles, I'll fish with the top water. Because I don't think it'll matter what time of day it is with those. Looks really good. Interesting how sometimes I'll sit on the back side of the logs. And they love eating it on the drop.
Got him. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> Put the surface lure in there, thought, no, I have to have the spinner bait on. And he just crunched it. Oh, so cool. Hey, that's a nice fish. That's such a chunky fish. Well, that was an unexpected quick release. Uh, but cool to get bit on the spinner bait pretty quick. Gotta love a fire frog. I reckon a seven foot rod, just about perfect for uh, spinner baiting. Six foot six, just a little bit short, but I reckon seven foot is on the money. Wow, that legit looked like a cod boofed a uh, school of carp there and it looked like his tail just wiggled and the tip of it poked out. It'd be awesome if you ate a surface lure. Definitely looked like a cod. It's a good indication of how high the water was in here. Well, I'm truly over the top of my head. There is so many big orb spiders. It's unreal. So it is just after three o'clock, um, not much happened during the day, got that one on the spinnerbait and that was about it for the subsurface bite, probably fish the spinnerbait for another maybe an hour and then it'll just be surface. It is a beautiful afternoon so hopefully the evening bite is good.
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did he blast that? Tangled me look. Right in the zone. Man, did he drill that? <laughs> Gonna come back? like you got airborne for it. <laughs> You'd know it's there. Our uh, session could be really good. I'm about to find out. Oh. Ah. Oh. How did that not hook up? Like, I touched that lure and the hook stick to me. And yet they can grab it like that and not hook up. That's crazy. Definitely still hooks on me. Got in that time though. Sick. I love it when they come back. It's the best. Oh well. We're on the board for the afternoon. Look at how fat he is. It's crazy. Crazy how fat you are, fish. Got him. Oh, he's a chunky, chunky cub on the galah. That is sick. Now, if I pull that out, are you just going to go? Yeah. Oh, another one. <laughs> Had to be one on that sponge pile. Get it back in there. Like two casts later. Oh, I've got him. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Uh, even this one has got the fattest belly. They are in brilliant condition. Come here. And they're all slightly bigger than... Oh. How cool is that? 
so fat. Brilliant colours. <laughs> Those hooks are so sharp. Do not want to get one myself. Go. It's funny how some just get it good and others buff it and just completely miss. Another amazing scum file. That is heavy rain. It is a maze of snags in here. He came off. Oh, just went straight back into the log. That was a really nice fish. Damn. He might come back. He might come back. Oh, how did that get off? Oh, he straightened the hook out. That's why. Should we try again? While he's fired up, I know I should change my hooks. Just have to go hard or go home. <laughs> oh, might have felt the hook if he straightened it out. Just casting it over all the crazy gnarly stuff. Man, did he smash it. Bit of a storm rolling in. Got him! Whoa, that was cool! Whew. Oh. oh, I thought he was a giant giant, but he's still a nice one. The biggest foam pile on the river. Ah, oh. and when I chucked in there the first time, he like boiled at it. He like must have launched that. He's hooked underneath his chin. Well, fish, I thought you were going to be a lot bigger. That is a really nice snag. Still a nice fish, though. Well, there he is. Awesome fish out the scunge pile. Just absolutely blitzed that <laughs> hunchback. Unreal. Oh, that was out of him. 
Beautiful fish. Came off. Damn. <laughs> that was sick. Ah. Come on. Ah, oh, missed it again. <sighs> Don't know how that happens. <laughs> Two in a row. He's only a little taker, but that was very, very cool. Come back three times. <laughs> Beautiful coloured fish. Wow. Come here. It's just like fighting himself in the current. Hey, that's a nice one. Are you angry? I reckon he's pretty angry. Absolutely. Thin, perfect. Murray Cod. He's gone. That was sick. Definitely my favourite time to be cod fishing. It's first thing in the morning with a surf floor. I've gone with the shag colour this morning. Hopefully that's not a sign of 
for the morning to come. Tangle first cast. It's actually nice knowing the water because this particular bit here you got to get right on this far bank to be able to fish it effectively because once you get close to it the current starts pulling you along and the last thing you want to do is be on top of it before you've had a chance to cast like the three or four hot spots Oh, got him. Yeah. <laughs> It's so cool. I just popped the cast in there because I thought that sometimes they sit in that real heavy current. He's not a big one, but that was so sick. Are we going to spotlight? We're sort of on the move a bit. Fish. <laughs> that was awesome. Jeez, did you nail that? He's only a little, but he's fat. Check that out. Super cool. Absolutely smashed it. Look at the guy. Always pays just to have a cast. Sort of cruising cast. I want to fish that other log down there, but. You see all the current coming past and just a few bits sticking up. It's quite a good spot for them to sit. Oh, oh, 
Man, did he explode on that. Right in there. It's like the only log along this bit. There had to be one on it. Jeez, the twitch gets them fired up sometimes. Oh, that was a good one. That was a really nice fish. Oh, am I gonna hit that log probably? Oh, I just skimmed it. Oh, <laughs> he like launched on it too. I hate pushing your electric motor swirl into fish. I don't think they'd like it. Damn. It's like a hard spot because the current's really pushing me through. over the lock. Oh, oh, how sick was that? Is he still on there? Yep, he's still on there. Smash into the lock. That's a really nice one. Oh, so sick. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Such a good fish. That's a really nice one. Got him. That is an absolute ripper. Check out that one. What an absolute chunk off the top. <laughs> So good, absolutely love surface fishing for cod. So stoked. He was never getting off in a million years. Hey, hey, hey. There he goes. Sick. Shag, got it done. One day that is going to get nailed across there. Oh, just like that. Oh. oh, that's a good one. That's a really nice one. Oh, he's fighting good. Wow. Feels like a really nice one. Oh, he's in the log. Come out of there. He's out. Is he? Oh, 
I hooked him in the top of the head, that's why. Still a really nice fish though. <laughs> that was amazing, amazing. Oh, he's fighting good because he's hooked in the top of the head. Check him out. Got him. What a bucket, man. Oh, what an absolute chunk of a cut. <laughs> Called it off the best snag right on the bend. And he must have followed it a long way out and just blitzed it. So cool, so stoked. Very, very cool. time for me to bail on out of here before it starts to rain if you enjoyed the episode make sure you give us a like leave a comment and if you subscribe to the channel it helped the channel grow i'll catch you all next time